Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back once again to Creations by Simone. All right, guys, I hope you are ready. Are you ready to eat, or should I say, are you ready to cook? Today, I am participating in this awesome collaboration hosted by Miss Anna over at the Grace Life DIY Home Decor and the lovely Miss Penny over at Home Decor and Penny's Lifestyle Living. Now, they have two co-hosts, which is Living Life with Miss Lisa Lisa and me, myself, Simone at Creations by Simone. Now, guys, as you know, we all come from different parts of the world, and Miss Anna wanted us to do a video with what our favorite dish was. Whatever your favorite dish was, she wanted you to go ahead and tackle it. She wanted you to cook one or more dishes from your place of birth or a place that you've been throughout your lifetime. So I have something really fantastic for you today. Now, I was born in this place, even though I traveled the world with my ex-hubby there. He was in the military, but we traveled the world. And I've seen a lot of places, but I come from one place. So I wanted to choose the place that I come from to create my dish guys so i hope you're ready i hope you're ready to eat i hope you're ready to cook i hope you're ready to get some tips and as i always say in every video let's do this all right my lovers we are going to get started right quick in the snap of a finger we're going to start this video off now today if you haven't already noticed we're making philadelphia cheesesteaks but we're not using the the homemade or should i say the real beef where we have to slice and cut up we're using steakums now if you are a mom or a wife sometimes you're always on the go um if you have a business that you're doing you know you don't have a lot of time so it would be nice to cut those steaks up but if you can't i'm going to show you a quick recipe with steakums that it will taste just as good guys so what i'm doing here is i am uh, sauteing my onions here as you can see I already cut them up we're putting them in the pan I put some olive oil in there and what we're gonna do is just saute the onions now what I did do is I put some pepper on my onions I like to season my stuff while it's actually sauteing just to give it that extra uh, flavor and that extra taste now what we're gonna do is we are gonna cook these onions until they are golden brown we don't want them too hard we don't want them too dark but just until they're golden brown look at that they look good guys i can eat the onions i tell you that guys okay so now what we're gonna do is we are going to cook our meat now we have our steakums here guys steakums are not that expensive you get a lot and what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna add a little steak seasoning and that's what the secret is i'm gonna put a little of that in my olive oil in my pan along with some black pepper go ahead and put that in there as well and then once we do that we're just gonna take this oil and just swirl it all around guys just to give it that little you know extra pizzazz so when we put our meat in there all of that will jump onto our meat and just just you know penetrate in there so now what i'm going to do is i am going to take my steak i'm just break them apart guys these are like a little squares so i'm just going to break about maybe 10 squares because i am making two sandwiches not for myself guys can't eat two make one for my little girl as well but all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our steak seasoning on here so we'll go ahead we'll do that like i said the steak seasoning gives it that extra taste since we're not using uh the real thing there now i'm going to add some um pepper put a lot of pepper on there and once again you can season season this to your taste however you like but these are the main ingredients that i like to use i have some red pepper here some crushed red pepper i put crushed red pepper in everything it just gives it that extra flavor and extra taste gonna add a little seasoning salt here now if you uh have high blood pressure you always can substitute that with mrs dash which has which has no salt so like i said whatever floats your boat but these are the seasons that i like to use now guys all i'm going to do is just stir this up a little we're going to turn that heat up just make sure the olive oil gets all up into the meat because we want to get those seasons soaked in there and all i'm going to do here is just put a lid on top of that let it simmer and we're going to come out with some steak that is absolutely delicious i'm telling you all right now as you can see it is simmering here 
And guys, I love this. I put the lid on, don't have to do much. This cooks really, really fast too, so you don't have to worry um, that you're gonna be here all day. As Soon as you put it in, if your pot is like nice and hot and warm already, the meat will start cooking and you know, it won't take no time at all. So now we're getting towards the end and as you can see, my meat is um, basically cooked here. I'm just gonna stir that up guys, make sure we have all that pink stuff out of there and just make sure everything is cooked cooked to perfection like it should be. All right, my lovies, now what I'm gonna do, remember the onions that we had in the beginning of the video. I'm gonna take my onions, now I'm gonna add those into the meat. I wanted to cook my meat first. Now I'm gonna add my onions in, we're gonna stir those up, and we're just gonna just repeat that cycle there, stir it up, and then I'll put a lid on top of that as well so the onions can just get into the meat and you know, flavor that up. Make sure you stir it really, really good, guys. I love saute onions, and that just adds Oh my goodness, it adds so much flavor to the steak and I just absolutely love it. All right, my lovies, now that that has cooked in, I have started taking my meat out because what we wanna do now is we wanna drain all this. You know, it has a lot of uh, oil in here from the olive oil, which olive oil is not bad for you, but still, you don't need all that added extra grease. So what I've done here is I'm just taking my uh, meat, putting it on a paper towel, just getting all that excess oil out. And once we do that, guys, we'll go ahead and sit that aside. And what I'm gonna do, as you can see, look at that, I wanna show you, it's the oil is seeping through that paper towel. Now what we're gonna do, guys, is we are going to put the meat back into the pot. After I clean the pot out, put it back into the pot, and now we're gonna do the next step, which is add our cheese. Now you can use any type of cheese you like. I personally like the provolone, and then I love this jalapeno American cheese, so it gives it that little kick as well. I just love spicy foods all together, so whenever I can get a little spice in there, I do it. If it's cheese, um, if it's anything that seasoning you know can spice up i'm all for it so basically all i'm going to do is lay my layer of cheese on top of the cheese steaks we'll put four pieces of provolone on there and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to take my jalapeno cheese and i'm just going to add up um the little blank spots there we'll just go ahead and put that on there so that way the whole uh, pan is covered, of uh, meat is covered up, and then that cheese can just melt through. Now I have an extra piece here, a provolone. So what I'm gonna do is you can see I have these little openings right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and break that up. And then we're gonna put that on the openings, guys. Move that all around to make sure everything is just evenly spread. We're gonna add our top on there, and we are gonna let that melt simmer, guys. Oh, I'm telling you, if you want to be in heaven, you need to be here now and you need to be smelling this. It smells absolutely delicious, guys. So now that we've had that on for a minute, look at that. It's melting, guys. Oh, that looks so good. It just pulls apart. I'm just getting, I don't even think I can wait for the bread. I'm telling you, this looks absolutely delicious. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm gonna stir this up a little once we get that stirred up. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add this to our bread. Now you can either toast your bread or you can have it, you know, just right out the packet. I prefer it right out the packet, but I have heard that it does taste pretty good if you toast it as well. So what I'm gonna do here, I've got these little steak rolls that I got from my local grocer guy. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up, and as you can see. Then we're just gonna get our cheese steak here get a little tongue and we're just gonna add that on to our bread. Look at that, look at the cheese, OMG, that, that looks so delicious. I am getting ready to throw down after this video, I tell you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some extra meat in there. Oh my goodness, this smells, it smells good. So I can imagine how good it tastes, guys. All right, so if you're anything like me, I am a ketchup girl. I have to have ketchup on my cheese steaks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drench this in ketchup, guys, and OMG, look at this. Look at this, don't be trying to come through your camera to get through here because you're not getting it because it's mine. All right, and I have my Lay's potato chips here and I have a lunch, oh my goodness, that's just fit for a queen, seeing that I am one. I think this is gonna be absolutely delicious, guys. All right, my lovies, I just wanted to show you this. I am so happy of my steak and cheese, cheese steaks 
can't even say that right. <laughs> I'm gonna pour me some lemonade, guys. And what is this? Voila, an afternoon lunch that is absolutely delicious, inexpensive, and most importantly, is from where I came from, the city, the city of brotherly love. <sighs> I, you know what? I'm stuttering because I can't wait to get to this cheesesteak, guys. All right, my loves. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, you know what to do. Give me that big thumbs up. I want to thank our two special uh, hosts, Miss Anna and Miss Penny, for hosting this all around the world cooking uh, collaboration. I can't wait till the next month. I have something so special for you. So guys, if you want to see it, make sure you come on, on back. I'm going to have all the ladies information down in my description box below. Go make a cheesesteak tonight, guys. I'm telling you, your kids, your husband, all above will love it. All right, my loves. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.